In the universe, life is either very easy or very hard. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Kluger, and this is Time Science. The camp that says life is easy suggests that whatever happened on Earth is easily replicatable elsewhere in space, if only because there are so many other stars, and now that the Kepler Space Telescope is looking for planets, we know that there are many, many other planets out there as well. If it could happen here, there's no reason it couldn't happen there. Paul Davies, the cosmologist at Arizona State University and the author of the book The Eerie Silence, believes that life is statistically just unlikely outside of Earth. Life is too complex, Earth-like planets are too rare, and no matter how many stars there are in the universe, when you crunch the numbers, we're probably alone. I think life is easy. I think with so many worlds out there and the basic chemistry so readily available, there will be life on other worlds. It doesn't have to be intelligent life. It may not rise above the level of microbes, but from microbes, we emerged. So at some point on some other planets, there can be intelligent life as well. Now this is more than just probability at work. The complex hydrocarbons and the mix of organic chemicals that make us what we are, are in fact very common in the universe. The reason life began in the oceans on Earth is because water is essential to life as we know it, and also because water, at least on a planet in the Goldilocks zone, not too hot, not too, too cold, can be very warm and amniotic. That's a very nurturing environment for life to evolve. We now know that the universe is fairly awash in water. We see water in interstellar space. We see it in interstellar clouds. It's perhaps Jupiter's big moons that have the most promise. We see water on the surface and beneath the surface of moons such as Europa and Ganymede and Callisto, all of which are thought to be able to keep water in a liquid state because of the gravitational pulsing that warms their interior. It's a little bit like when you bend a wire hanger back and forth and it becomes too hot to touch. Of course, it's also possible that there are extraterrestrials, and we're it. Plenty of people believe in the theory of panspermia, the idea that incoming asteroids from deep space carry the organic compounds that first seeded the Earth. And there are some people who even suggest that Earthlings are in fact Martians, who originated as single-celled organisms on Mars, rode to Earth aboard rocks blasted off of Mars, and then populated our planet. There's more and more evidence that Mars was once a warm, wet, watery place, and some life that evolved then may still be living beneath the surface. If we go there and we find it, maybe we're just coming home.